Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome back to Deponia Part Six. Right, so we've just got the um, espresso coffee, which is what we're going to use to wake up uh, Gold, who was the girl that fell from the uh, spaceship, I guess it was, back down to uh, Deponia. So we'll uh, go and try and find her now. Back at the town hall. Here we go. Right, let's find the town hall again. In here, and at the back, I think it was, wasn't it? I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So she's asleep. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. Cool, we'll do that then. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. So let's get the espresso and uh, sling it down her neck. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Me. Let's Snake say it doctor. together. Me. me. It's a draw. Yeah. Best out of three. You. you. Me. You. Ah, I win. Oh, crap. Okay, so we can't do that then. Uh... The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and right. why my face is on them. Now, Gizmo here is also the policeman and the fireman, isn't he? And that sign there says no... F well, it's a sign that looks like it says no fire or fireproof or something so let's just try something so we've got this torture haven't we what's that funny smell ah, fire the town hall's on fire fire control mode activated firefighter gizmo at your service where is the fire over there the chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no Come time. Come on, Gizmo. See ya. Right, he's locked in. So hopefully now we can uh, use the coffee on her. She might... Let's do that now. Not necessary. Goal has her coffee black. Alright, so... About a funnel, Let's put the funnel in her mouth first and pour the coffee in. Don't even think oh. about it, Rufus. It's mine now. Keep your hands off the Elysian, Rufus. But this situation calls for a funnel right there. What? No! What makes you think that? Oh, all right. But hey, one day, you'll beg for a funnel down your throat, and then I'm expecting an apology. I'll have that. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoa! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical Doctor mode activated. Doctor Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? 
Now, oh, just where is my stethoscope? It's gone. Thieves, crime in progress. <laughs> Police mode activated. Policeman, no? Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Huh? Oh, but Rufus, you're not untouchable, Low Tech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? Come what? on, arrest him. That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. Oh, so come what? on, chaps. Just you're fired anyway. go. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But don't I arrested me. you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. Here we go. The elixir of life. I what where how was that? Me. It was me. <laughs> oh, because your tooth. Yeah, so we're Oof. back here. Oh, oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. Yeah, yeah. No know. problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Toodle, toodle, toodle. What? No, it, it's Rufus. She's delirious. Mm, yes. What? You can give me any name you like, babe. Hello? Anyone home? Home, 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 home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh, oh, come on, that was funny. Uh, because, I mean, you you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> Gotta wave the ladies. Get hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Huh. She's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah, uh, slash dash gazash. Sammy, <laughs> mm, mommy, good old granny. Puzzle false. Nom, nom, <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> and munch, munch crunch. crunch. Attack a tick tock. Knock, knock. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, wonkers, wonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? I love the graphics on this. Elysium. Great. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick. We need to go She's back. making sense. To Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? Nope. What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. Who's Cletus? I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is of course. Cletus? My fiance. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you 
He'll reward you generously. Oh, that uh, sounds good. Generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous <laughs> exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Come on, love. Mm -hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. <laughs> Rufus, please. Contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can do that. Can spam when Tom will lollipop? Peekaboo. But. Bootam swadikosa loka shootipop. The burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Right, so, Cletus. Uh... Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. Oh, not Cletus, then. No, not Gizmo, then. We'll find Cletus. So... Let's go back out to uh, Town Hall, see if there's my radio or something in there. See what we can find. Talk to this uh, woman, man. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Do you know okay. where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. <laughs> but the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. The post office will be open o'clock. O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Ah, so maybe if we put a time or something in there, we can... Make it make the post office open. I don't know though. Uh, there's a clock there, right? So we can grab this. Get it from the sleeping mare. Come on, come on, Rufus. Grab it. And now, very careful. <laughs> come on, yoink. Good man. <laughs> Long fingers, silent steps. The perpetrator was Rufus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. So we can put this, this clock into this machine. There is a hole there. Let's see if we can get it in there. There you go. Um, I think the post office is open. Me oh my, I think you're right. <laughs> you didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> So where's the post office? Oh, there. Okay. Ooh, who's this? Uh, hi. Please state your business. Oh, I want to make a radio call. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Right, uh... 
Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third okay. one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Mm. Are there absolutely no long-distance devices? There are no long-distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Right. Damn. So, uh... I'd like to register a private radio device for long-distance calls. Very well. Where shall the device be installed? Um, Tony's house is located in Grid Square 4, right at the East Tunnel exit. Your order has been placed. The installation of the device will presumably be completed in calendar week 63. What? <laughs> That's a quarter of a year from no now. Good. I'll have long since left Kuvak by then. The installation of the device will take 3.799 months. During this period, your house will be disconnected from the electricity grid and the community's water mains. Ear protection muffs for the noise during the nightly drilling are included in the costs. By what means do you wish to pay? Yeah, uh, Tony will pay for me. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. <laughs> wow. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. So you know then? I think I can arrange that. See you later. So, what can we do in here? A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute. And strange. Uh, hi. Please state your business. Uh. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes. As long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in there bubble wrap. Is that fun? That is. Ooh. Whoa, if you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> hmm. So you have a thing for bubble wrap? Unfortunately, I yeah, only yeah, ever okay, had that. Got that. Right. See you later. What's up here? If I nudge it, it starts nodding. Yeah, I want that feature for Tony. Hmm. So we've got a cat, haven't we? Uh, what's the cat? Can we do something with a cat? A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww. Cute and strange. Something else to do. Uh. Error. Error. Oh dear. All right, <laughs> suit yourself. Another hatch here. Another cat. So a cat licks the stamps. Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow, or a bit too fast, and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Ah, so maybe that will get postage level three, so we can start playing with the bubble wrap, so I can get in there to use the radio, perhaps. Okay. Ooh, another one there, look. Error, error. Okay, we can't. All right, suit yourself. This guy. Hey, Yoo-hoo! Hello. 
Hmm? Yeah? What's up? How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus Ooh. or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? Yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. Huh. You're not too busy up here, are you? Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvac. I'm as chilled out as can right, be. Right, so we're not what? getting in this seat then, are we? Should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid. Uh, I'll be going then. You do that. This pigeon. You shouldn't be here anyway. I totally Three agree. Pigeons. So, we need to get this robot out of the way, I guess, and I suppose we need to get up to the uh, up to that listening post and use the headphones and the microphone so we can talk to, to Cletus. But for now, I guess that's going to have to do. Uh, so, it's been Snake Doctor. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back soon for part seven. But until then, take care. See you later. Cheers. Bye.